Hi, everybody. We are in section three, and this is step six. Um, so far, we have built the door for people to come into the money network. Uh, we customized the uh, money network as far as the about section. We have uh, created a uh, network membership plan. Uh, and then if there is any um, additional either course or cohort sections, we uh, talked about creating uh, plans for each individual of those sections and bundles for those sections to invite people in. So now we have the door and now we want to have some nice content inside, right? So we're going to create some a welcome post first. That's where we're going to start. Um, I suggest having there's templates that the Money Network already sets up for us. So we're actually going to go and I'm going to make uh, a, a welcome section for a new uh, cohort inside the Find Calm Here community, which is called the Calm Corner. Uh, so this is a new section I'm offering to uh, past clients that have worked with me so they can gather with me in a space and I have an office hours uh, in here. So, but I haven't, I just opened this space up today. And so I want to create an, a, a, a welcome post. So if you go to manage, and then, and this is the same for either a, uh, you know, a membership welcome or a course welcome or a cohort welcome. It's all in the same place. It's all in this general, um, is in the cohort settings or the, the network settings. And then it would be in the content section. And then here's where you can toggle on and off different aspects of content within this cohort. Right now, we're just going to go all the way down to the, where it says welcome section. And then it says manage. Now, I don't have a welcome yet, so this is what we're going to do. Create a welcome post. The, oh, I have to, see, there's a good another good point there. <laughs> so I actually have to allow for articles to be something in content. So I have to go back up here, turn on articles, and only I can create articles. So that is uh, one section. Um, everybody can create a post. I can add that. Um, I can put polls and questions. Everybody can ask for a poll or a question. And only um, the host is able to create events. I'm not going to worry about topics right now for this section. Um, we're going to go back over. I'm going to go back over to that welcome section now. And then here is the template for the uh, Muddy Network welcome. So it says at the top here, start editing and publish whenever you're ready. And it has this like welcome start here. Um, I would sec suggest you customize this, put something in that uh, is more specific to your space. So I have a, a calm corner uh, icon here that I can use. I'm going to delete that section here. Um, so I have this calm corner icon and then here are a few things that make our community special. So this is where you can get really customized with the uh, welcome message. N all the people that are coming in this space, they already know about polls and topics. They already know about this, but maybe the members that you're inviting in don't know. So you'd want to look at that and say, okay, I'm definitely going to be using polls, prompts, and posts. So I definitely want to make sure that I list that there. Um, but maybe you're not. And so right now I could delete this section and I'm not using topics. Um, and they already know about direct messaging, but I can leave that there so they know that. And they can keep conversations going during and after our event. So that's something we can list there. And then if we wanted to, we can organize them to smaller groups and online courses. So that's just talking about in other sections of the network. Make it friendlier, add a photo. <laughs> so you could add a photo here. Um, and then it talks about notifications. So you can actually... Um, highlight this section if you wanted to, to make sure that people really see that there's a section about your notifications. You can make that bolder. This has a, a little demo here and it, it shows you a photo of like where these different aspects are, the polls, questions, and all of that. And then the other thing that you want to make sure you do is tell them contribute. So <laughs> you'd want to tell them to contribute. 
So, and then there's a get the app on your phone before you go. Here's, uh, and then this would be like this section before you go, help us keep this place special. I'd like to just say this could be a section where you do a code of conduct, but you could also do a code of conduct in your, uh, my in the purpose, which is the next um, article that we're going to create. So these are sections that you can customize to make sense for your community. Like this is specifically for my um, clients. And so they don't need all they would want to know maybe in this section is like what they get and additionally in this particular section. So I could actually list here the the benefits of you can save it as a draft and you can come back to it, by the way. Just I always use draft feature because it's really helpful because then you can just return back to it. But I could, actually, I could actually go to this about section and I could just like put this in here to remind them that that's part of what they're going to get. So in my drafts, your, your drafts. So here's my draft. And then I can expand this to make it a little bigger. And then I can say, instead of all of this, I don't need all of this, right? They don't need to know all of this. They, they have, we can leave the additional questions there, but here's, we can keep it super simple, right? Just here's what it is. <laughs> you have additional questions. You can keep it that simple, or you can make it a lot more um, filled in with your content. Um, but that's something that you can do to help really customize your space. Uh, is just, I'm going to save this as a draft again, because I'll update that later. Um, but that's a way you can like customize a space. So I'll go into the uh, next section, which will go into the um, purpose.